Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new review Wednesday. For today's review Wednesday, I'm actually going to review a brand that I literally started off with. If you guys don't know, then I used to uh, do a lot of makeup tutorials using Color Essence because I bought their Bridal Trousseau kit and it came with eyeshadows and lipsticks and whatnot. And I've reviewed Color Essence in the past, so I'm really, really excited to be reviewing it again for you guys. I think Color Essence and Blue Heaven are two proper drugstore brands, Indian drugstore brands that are really killing it. So without blabbering any further, for today's review Wednesday, I'm going to be reviewing the Color Essence Ultra Color Graphic Eyeshadow. Now, these are what they look like, and they look very, 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 a little too very similar to ColourPop eyeshadows. I'm actually going to open up one of them and show the packaging to you guys so that you guys can see them as well. So, this is what the packaging looks like. As I said, they look very similar to what the ColourPop eyeshadows look like, and that's what they feel like as well. But that's for later. Let's just get the basics covered here. Now, Color Essence is available online, offline, everywhere. That's perfect. These these ones retail for 400 rupees each which is slightly slightly on the higher side for color essence as a brand but I feel for what you're getting it's amazing because you get approximately 3.5 gram of eyeshadow which is a lot of eyeshadow trust me it's a lot of eyeshadow the packaging feels nice and sturdy the plastic is not cheap which is good and this is what the outer packaging looks like and it comes in this cardboard inside as well so the eyeshadow is placed inside this cardboard which is then further placed in inside this box. Now Color Essence is a cruelty free brand and these eyeshadows are not tested on animals, they are vegetarian as well which is perfect. It's just perfection in a jar. Now talking about the eyeshadow and the texture and everything, I freaking love the texture. I actually feel these are slightly better than the original Colourpop eyeshadows as well because I feel these are more creamy than the Colourpop eyeshadow which I don't even know how they achieved it but this is what the colour looks like in the pan and let me just, I have clean fingers, let me just go once and this is the colour payoff like look at that and it just swatches really beautifully as well and this translates onto the eyes now talking a little bit more about the texture if you've never used a color pop eyeshadow you wouldn't know this but they go on creamy but they set themselves and it's the same case with these eyeshadows so you don't need a powder eyeshadow to set these once you apply them they are set by themselves so they don't crease or anything if you have already primed your eyes i would suggest to go over your eyes after a primer with these eyeshadows you can go directly as well but that wouldn't ensure that the eyeshadow won't crease so for primer i usually just use my concealer and set it with a little bit of powder and then i go on top with these eyeshadows and they stay put throughout the day they do not crease they are just on my lids they do not move they do not budge so yes the texture is just lovable it's just so beautiful i can't even tell you how much i love the texture of these eyeshadows now this does not work that well with brushes but that's what cream eyeshadows are. Cream eyeshadows do tend to work way 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 better with your finger. So if you are going to be picking these up just know that these will work better with finger. Now all of these have glitter in it and if I have not already told you these come in 11 different colors. For some reason the color number 7 is not there. All of the other colors are there like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So they don't have a 7th color. No clue why they've done that. But there are 11 colors in the range and all of them are shimmery and glittery. None of them are matte. However, I would like to see mattes from them as well because Colourpop does have matte shadows and they are beautiful. And I think overall, India does require good matte shadows. These are made in India as well, which is just something that makes my heart so, so, so happy. So yes. This is what the swatch looks like if you can see the color is gorgeous a lot of them have shifts in the color like some of them are just plain shimmery some of them have shifts but that is for the swatches to define for you so i'm gonna start with the swatches now so that you can see what the shades look like and then we can sum up everything that i feel about these shadows
watches i want to quickly add a couple of more points now these shadows do have a tendency to break like this one right here it's broken but because of the texture you can actually just press it back in and it would fix itself which is great because you don't need rubbing alcohol or anything you can fix it with your fingers and that's why i love this texture so much now because of the glitters in the shadow when you're going to be applying it if you try to blend it in it will have a little bit of glitter fallout but nothing that you can't just dust away and get rid of so if you are someone who really really cares about fallout you might want to do your eyes first and then the base so that you get rid of all of the fallout now the shelf life of these eyeshadows is 36 months which is three years which is amazing but i would suggest that as soon as you're done using them just close them back up because that would retain the moisture of the eyeshadow and it won't just dry out very very quickly now let's just quickly sum up all of the pros and the cons so that you guys can make up your mind whether or not you want to buy these eyeshadows pro number one these are easily available pro number two i would say they're affordable the color pop one when you convert the money it would come around 350 rupees these are 400 rupees so this on the similar notes so yeah they're affordable pro number three the texture is beautiful pro number four they just glide on the eyes they're very easy to work with they blend in beautifully as well pro number five i love the color variety they have a lot of different colors it's not just neutral or glitter or golden they have blues and pinks and that is something i absolutely love pro number six they're cruelty free pro number seven they're made in india i know it's not like a proper pro pro but for me I truly love things that are made in India so for me it's a very big pro I'm going to include that as well and lastly it is a vegetarian product as well so that is about eight pros now coming to the cons con number one it will have slight fallout con number two there are no shade names there are only shade numbers so it can get a little confusing and the shade numbers are not really mentioned on the box itself it's only mentioned on the cardboard like outside on the uh, cardboard thing it's not mentioned on the product so that can be a little confusing so you'll actually have to retain the cardboard to know the number and the eyeshadow color and everything so that's a little little Mm, bummer then con number three do i have any other con do i it has a tendency to break but that does fix itself back up so just keep that in mind that it can break so yeah that is it eight versus three i think the pros are definitely 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 higher and i really really recommend these eyeshadows they are beautiful they're very beginner friendly you can just use these single shadows like i have today i only have one shadow all over my lid just blend it in the crease a little a little bit of mascara and done nothing else these look gorgeous on the eyes the glitter shift are just phenomenally beautiful so yes that was my review for these color essence ultra graphic eyeshadows you can use them well as well but you don't really need to they give a very good payoff when they're dry as well so completely usable dry and yeah that's gonna be it for my side also if you want to consider that as a con these eyeshadow don't work so well with brushes but they work phenomenally with the fingers so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this review was helpful for you guys and if it was then don't forget to comment and subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me also let me know some other products you want me to review some exciting new products you want me to review and i would love to do them for you guys and i will see you guys next time till then take care Mwah. bye